And like I say, it's very flattering. I love the, like I said, I love all my actresses. I love all my actors. I love all my workers. I love everyone that, that was playing, that, that was doing my civilization and basically on my planet. Like I said, there's, there's thousands or millions of worlds out there. You know, yes, I'm your king. Yes, I'm your creator. Yes, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, it's funny though, when they, when they tried to kill me or when they did kill me and then I came back or whatever, I told, I told the human race or I told certain people in the human race, I said, you've earned yourself a black mark. You've tried to kill a creator. This will not, you know, blah, blah, blah. Which means basically no creator, no blah, blah, blah will ever deal with you ever again. Like I said, at one point in time, I was the most known. Like I said, Lucifer Star, me, the creator of the first stars, or first star in the in the whole universe. You know, as far as, you know, trying to kill me and doing something against me, like, if you're ever going to pick one person or one life form not to fuck with, not to steal from, not to take from, not to mess with, I would be it. You know. So, anyway, it took them a long time. So, like I said, I mean, I don't, you know, like I said, it doesn't really matter to me all that much. Because, like I say, like, I've, I'm 90 trillion years old. I've done this, I've done that. You know, I've existed with all my life forms, at least 400 or at least a lot of different life forms. And like I said, I was number one civilization builder and then later on in the top 10 civilization builders in the whole universe. So, like I said, that's who Lucifer Star me, who I was, who I am. So, like I said, when I said to certain people, you've earned a black mark, you know, no one will ever deal with you or, or touch you or have anything to do with you ever again. You know, that's why a lot of people were like, you know, because I was going to turn in a, a, my findings on basically the human race and also Earth or whatever, some planets. That's another reason why they wanted to kill me by the time I was nine years old. Not that it really mattered because I, you know, like I said, they couldn't kill me like that. They could only kill Brian or keep me from being Brian or whatever. Or keep me from telling you. Like this. Like they couldn't stop the, the greater me. So, so you know, like I said, that's why, you know, I was telling Ronnie, I was like, nothing that you do matters. I had other existences, so, you know. Yeah, and for years, Rodney was like, blah, 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 chip off the old block, blah, 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 blah. You know, trying one plan after another plan, you know, blah, 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 trying to get the future or trying to go blah, 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 blah. You know, and it's just like, I had to tell him, I was like, Rodney, just stop. And that's why I'd tell him, you're embarrassing yourself, Rodney. Like, I'm the Lucifer star of the universe. You know, the only one. So like I say, I don't really, and Rodney would be like, well, bring, bring gold down from the sky. And actually, I did have the exoskeletons at one point in time bring gold down in spaceships and drop it off somewhere. But of course, you know, no one ever knew about that. And of course, Rodney would never tell me about that. Anyway, like I said, it's pointless. I don't really care. I, 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 just, I just make these, these messages you know, because I'm bored and because I don't really care. You know, it's like, well, you know, a lot of people thought, oh, he's just a little, blah. Like, you will think this, you will think that. None of it really matters. What did matter, though, is people like my Belfast and LS Shipyard and, like, people that were actually doing things in the universe. Building my projects, doing this, doing that, working with me. Like I said, we built the Earth. We built lots of other planets. Other other life forms would come along and meet me and be like, well, since they're not going to use you, we'll use, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll spend time with you. So... You know, Rodney the whole time thinking, blah, 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 You know, because to him, time didn't move or time, blah, 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 or Rodney, you know, they thought whatever thing, you know. But to me, like I said, I know there's a gap between when I was three years old and when, and now. There's many gaps probably in my existence. So, you know. And like I said, that wasn't even the first time. I was nuked in 1980, I, I mean, in 18, 1850. And then Abraham Lincoln killed me. Technically, I died in another life form. One of my other one of my other life forms grabbed me. I went and spent existence with them for a while. And then I said twelve types of life forms. So while Rodney and Rick Bush and all these other people were out here on the earth going, you know, I was out there for hundreds of trillions of years, 
having a whole existence without. Happy. Doing things with them. Now that's why when I was a child, I, I said, well, now I just have to tell them what I did. Meanwhile, Riley's like, what? And Rick Bush is like, two years is a long time, Brian. Well, a lot longer than you think. You know, many people would describe it as, well, if it was a race between humanity and Lucifer's star, he simply stepped backwards and, 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 and won. You know, because the finishing line and the end line is the same. So, to me, I simply just stepped backwards. <laughs> it was already, already at the finish line before anybody ever even started. You know, I don't know how you look at it in time and space and all that other stuff. You know, like I said, you know, meanwhile, all these people are watching Brian, blah, 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 he's not doing anything, blah, 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 blah. It's like, well... You might, you probably wouldn't know how much time had passed between one second and the next. You don't even know how much time passes between when you go to sleep and when you wake up. Could be six hours, could be five hours, could be an eternity. Could be a million years from when you go to sleep and when your eyes open the next day. And you would never know it. A lot of people would be like, ah, it's like, well, you know, like I said, I am Lucifer star of the universe. So, yeah. Like, I don't mean, I don't mean to go, well, I'm not so powerful, I'm so big, and, and Rodney was like, oh, don't, 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 blah, blah, blah. it's like, shut up, I'm simply stating facts. This is who I am, this is what I am. You know? Other people, you know, other people would laugh about it and be like, know your place, slime. <laughs> it's like, no, it's not like that. You know, like I said, I valued every single man, woman, and, and child that, 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 that worked on my steamships. You know, every person that worked in, in, the, in my Belfast and, and Alice shipyard. You know, you know and, and like I said, the pay raises in Panama, you know, they're on record. The, the Republicans or, or, or somebody was trying to blah, 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 and they're just trying to skim off the top. The, the Germans came in and said, no, no, blah, blah, here's the books, here's the payment schedules. We paid this person that money. These people got, got should have, you know, the money was shipped. It, was, it came here. You know, just because, because I was asking, because I went to Germany, and I was like, Germany, how come these people aren't being paid? What, what, what's up with that? And they're like, what, blah, 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 here's a picture of blah, 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 so I have someone else's problem. Like I said, and then the Irish found out that, 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 that it was Roosevelt. He was skimming off the top and planning to just kill the workers at the end of the year or at the end of the project. Keep the bonuses for himself. At least that's what the Irish said. And like I said, I trust the Irish. You know, five different projects, all on schedule, all perfect. You know, and then they say something to me. It's like, oh, okay. Good as fact. Irishman's word to me is basically as good, you know, you might as well, I didn't even see it. You know, I just knew, blah, blah, they're Irish, so. You know, and like I said, and they even said, well, you didn't hire Roosevelt, Roosevelt's blah, 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 blah. Your guy's dead in the corner or dead or buried out back. I go, oh, thank you so much. So I gave them a bonus and blah, 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 I think, or whatever. I don't think they took it. I don't know. Like I said, the Irish workers were really, really honest. Super good people. You know, and like I said, they were rich a couple times over after. By the time they had completed all the projects, you know, with the pay schedules and everything else and just how much people loved what they were doing, you know, they were like crimson gods. And they and it was well-deserved fanfare. You know, that's why I, you know, tried to give them as many projects as I could to, you know, help them out. You know, like I said, I very much valued valued them. And they manned a couple battleships and everything else like that before most other people were, you know, they would come alongside and basically be just as cared about as the German Empire or the German soldiers. <laughs> Some people would say, well, we're not as clean or as, uh, as well dressed, but, you know, but they were just as good and just as honest. So, anyway. So, anyway, yeah, well, all this stuff was happening, all these things were happening, you know, and it's like, I mean, while Rodney and Rick Bush and other people are, blah, 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 try and try as you might. It's like, what? 
I wasn't even doing anything. Later on, you know, people were just like, well, just got to let him be as Brian, you know, not worry about it. We're going to deal with the problems. Because, like, it doesn't even really have anything to, anything to do with me. You know, I told Rodney, I told blah, 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 you know, I told, I tell you. You know, it's like, it doesn't even have anything to do with me. I'm 90 trillion years old. I create existence. I, I shaped your existence into what it is. You know, and it's just basically Rodney and Rick Bush going, oh. like, like they say, Beavis and Butthead do America. You know, I mean, it's so ridiculous to your children, to your forefathers, to to everyone else. That it's just like, you know, it's it's like basically, it's basically like 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 being shot in the chest and saying, "I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna die." You know, that's basically all that 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 that, that the Rick Bush and Rodney and a bunch of other people were doing. It's like, you know, like saying, "There's not a galaxy coming towards us. There's not a, the, the Lucifer Lucifer star. Brian is not a creator. There's not a galaxy coming towards us. There's not a galaxy coming towards us." And and, and like I was saying to, to to Rodney, I said, "You know, you can say whatever you want. You can think whatever you want. There is a galaxy coming towards us. There are two hundred fifty thousand exoskeleton planets. There are fourteen thousand one point five planets. And there are four hundred to three thousand humanoid planets." And my laws and my rules are being practiced on at least one point one one uh, one thousand five hundred or more. So, you know, and even the bunnies, even the Playboy bunnies, you know, they work for me. You know, and a lot a while ago, or at some point in time, some senator or someone was like, "Well, they're they're paid by us. Uh, uh, we should be able to have sex with them." It's like, no, they're paid by me. I pay for all this. I pay for that. If they want to have sex with you, they can have sex with you. If they don't want to have sex with you, then they don't have to have sex with you. It's at their discretion. So I don't care if you're a senator. I don't care if you're the... <laughs> I don't care if you're the leader of a, of a whole fucking country. If some girl doesn't want to have sex with you, she doesn't have to have sex with you. So, and, and that's why when that one girl, you know, the guy grabbed the girl with the Tiffany necklace on and went, <laughs> and then and she pushed him back apparently and then he got even more forceful and like like threw her through the door or something like that and then raped her and stuff like that and she probably would have had sex with him but you know she was kind of like it was a little intimidating other people saw it investigated it tiffany investigated it the police investigated it you know years later they'd be trying to cover it up it's like It's like being a stupid motherfucking idiot when, when you're 15 years old and then years later when you're a senator trying to cover up all your stupid actions when you're a child. Like, just stupid. Like, I would, I would hope and I prayed and I, and, I, and, I, and I wanted my Irish people to not have to go through all the stupidity, to just be like, look, this is how it is. This is what's going on. You know, and like I said, the Irish were awesome. They were great. You know, they weren't terrorists. They're not terrorists. You know, they were just simply protecting their homeland and protecting and, and protecting the, the, their businesses. And really, realistically, they're protecting my business or one of my, you know, like I said, you know, they're fine. Leave them alone. You know, that's why I told British or whatever to get out of there and just, you know, they were working for, for me for a long time. They built all half my ships. I just were perfectly honest, perfectly good and just fine by themselves. So that's why I told Britain. Well, you know, but, but like I said, Britain, Britain is actually just me, Brian. Brian Town. So they may were whatever. So anyway, I don't know. You know, you find all these points, like like like, like some American soldiers would, would say, well, there's gonna be a lot of a lot of arrows pointing at you. <laughs> like or a lot of, a lot a lot of, you know. It's like, yeah, well. Anyway, and everything was fine with me. So yeah, best steamships. And you know, we broke a lot of records, we had a lot of fun, we went to, we went on a lot of expeditions, we charted Antarctica. We did this, we did that. You know. You know, nobody even knew that the French and the and the, and the British team were actually working together. Years later you're like, uh, well they were in a contest, blah blah blah. It's like no, they're working for me. They're my expeditions. And I had two ships go rather than one. 